Hello Taurus viewers. As most of you know, if you watched the video I posted a couple weeks ago, I was just in Seattle County in Washington trying to find the soulmate that I've been energetically picking up on. Um, but I am back home in California now, so I'm ready to get into some readings. Um, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, I'm going back out to Washington again in a month or so, but... I'm going to try to be consistent with the readings and keep doing them every couple weeks, even if I'm out of town on my mission. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what's going on with you guys. So for Taurus, what is going on? Shyness, fear of rejection. Submissive, weak-willed. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, anger, miscommunication. Hidden truth. Open and honest communication, message. So somebody, somebody might be getting a message coming in here. Make your move, green light, and waiting, hoping, praying. Okay. It is 2.22, by the way, if that's a message for anybody. So I feel like there was some miscommunication with this person in the past. Either you really liked them and they were shy and they might have seemed maybe this is a really attractive person and you assume that they just knew they were attractive um so you might have maybe you you know try to shoot your shot and you felt rejected you felt like they didn't notice you um i'm getting that there was miscommunication though like they were just kind of oblivious. They didn't realize how you felt about them, or maybe they, maybe you flirted, maybe you thought you were making it clear, but this person has uh, poor communication skills, so I feel like they just, they didn't understand that you were trying to come on to them, or they didn't, maybe they, maybe they were going through a dark period of their life, and they were too insecure to realize that you were genuinely interested in them, and that you genuinely wanted to go out with them. Um, or it could be vice versa. It could be the other way around. And it could be that they liked you and you were the one that was going through something. You were the one that was kind of oblivious to the connection. Um, it just feels like someone's insecurities got in the way here. Someone's insecurities made them kind of blind to what was right in front of them. Someone's insecurities made it so that they couldn't, you know, realize what was what was what was right in front of them, what, you know, this love it was it was right in front of their face and they felt like it was too good to be true or they felt like you probably just flirt with ev with everybody or maybe you felt that way maybe you felt like you know they probably sleep around a lot or I bet they're just a really friendly person like you kind of it's like someone made excuses you know what I mean like someone was trying to it, it, again could be you could be them but someone in this connection was trying to you know make it really obvious you know, really make their feelings clear and the other person was just too insecure or just going through too much of the time to be able to see what they had. And they kind of just sabotaged it. You know, it's like someone would flirt, someone would maybe even try to ask someone out. And it's like the other person would just be like, couldn't like, they just didn't understand. Like they didn't, and maybe they thought you were out of their league or vice versa. And so it's like, you guys, you know, both had the feelings, the attraction was mutual, but you just didn't, Someone just didn't realize it. Um, it's like someone was really shy and afraid of rejection. They kind of gave into these fears. Um, they're they're more like the shy, sweet kind of boy or girl next door type is what I'm getting here. And they do want to take it slow and, and get to know you. And I almost feel like that could be another thing, too, is maybe someone was wanting to take it slow. Maybe someone was just getting out of something. Or they were just kind of still trying to feel you out and maybe you move really fast in relationships or vice versa. Maybe um, maybe you're the one that likes to move kind of slow and they like to move fast. But it's like someone there might have been some misunderstandings because of that energy as well. Like someone not going at quite the same space, same pace. 
But, um, but the, I mean, the feelings, the interest was mutual. The attraction was mutual. There was just miscommunication that kind of sabotaged this. Um, I do feel like this person's coming back around, though. It, it looks like there's a hidden truth coming out here. And you might be getting some message. You might either be sending a message, like maybe you're having the intuitive nudge that you... Maybe you're having dreams about this person suddenly and you're getting this intuitive nudge like maybe I should message this person. Maybe there was misunderstanding. Maybe they weren't as cocky as I thought they were. Maybe, um, you know, maybe in a different uh, perspective, I, I would have, you know, understood where they were coming from more. So it's like there's some kind of communication coming in here. Someone's making a move here. I feel like the, the, you know, it's like a green light here. Someone's making a move and now it's just kind of like a waiting game. Just kind of waiting to see what happens. Some of them are, you might be getting this message from someone. Because someone just wants to communicate. Someone wants to clear this up. They're, they're looking at this differently now is what I'm getting. And if this is your story and you would like a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated and if it resonates, please subscribe. Okay, any other messages here? Mutual feeling, yeah. Yeah, see the few feelings were mutual but either they didn't know, like they thought you were too good for them or vice versa. Someone in this connection, either you or them or bo both of you, someone's very attractive. But someone, the person that's attractive doesn't realize how attractive they are and so sometimes they might come off as cocky or emotionally unavailable when in reality they're just very shy and awkward and they don't know how to talk to people so sometimes they're kind of quiet and you're like what the hell and it's like they're not like in the past if you guys have you know been in like the same social circle or same friend group or whatever and you're like why are they so quiet it's like they're they're not rejecting you they just they don't know how to talk to people <laughs> They really, they just don't have a lot of social skills, to be honest. Mutual feelings, happiness, warmth, light. Yeah, someone's seeing the light here. There's a hidden truth coming out, and there's a message um, connected to this as well. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, fear of commitment. What do you want to say about toxicity and red flags? So your person went through something that really damaged them, um, and I feel like that kind of gave them a little bit of a fear of commitment. Um, I feel like your person it has, like, this innocence about them, and that innocence was corrupted, and they were sad. And so that was also part of it is, like, they couldn't... At the time, you might have been trying to pursue them, but they might just not have... They, they hadn't worked on themselves yet. They hadn't done the shadow work yet. I feel like you guys have spent some time apart and they actually have done the healing. They have done the shadow work. So they're a little bit more confident now and they're able to look at this from a new perspective. But back when you guys were interacting or whatever the situation was with you guys, I feel like they were sad. I feel like they were going through a dark night of the soul. I feel like they were afraid of getting hurt. They were afraid of commitment. They um, had trauma. They, they felt like they just wouldn't be good enough for you basically is kind of the energy that I'm getting here or vice versa you know and take it as it resonates because this could be you in this situation as well but someone someone's getting clarity here someone's getting clarity and wanting to send a message and this could be like an out of nowhere message this could just be like you have a dream about them and you're like damn I need to message them or they have a dream about you and they're like well, I need to find this person like I need this is my person like let's let's find each other you know um, yeah, they were hesitant to be vulnerable in the past out of fear, but now they're, they're seeing the beauty, the mystery, and the enchantment like this, the fear of the unknown used to keep them stuck. Like they, they thought you were too beautiful. You're too, um, you weren't as easy, you know, male or female, you could be either, but they thought you were too beautiful or too handsome. Like you were too, um, like mysterious, like you were hard to figure out, like you, you weren't like other people. You were unique. You were, um, there's something just special about you that they could feel, but they couldn't quite put their finger on it. And when they were in that kind of dark night of the soul type energy, that, um, 
you know, that before they had done the shadow work, that was scary for them because they're like, they didn't like the lack of control. They didn't like that they couldn't figure you out. They're like, well, what if this person ends up being crazy? Or what if this person ends up being toxic like my ex was? Or, you know, all like very, very pessimistic, very like worst case scenario. But now that they've done the shadow work and they're he the healing, they're actually looking at this from a new perspective. And they're like, wow, that's kind of awesome that she that he or she is so mysterious and so enchanting and they're so unique it's like they're turned on by it now they does that make sense it's like they see it as a challenge now whereas before that fear of the known and the unknown um actually scared them so so yeah things have shifted a little bit here okay any other messages here sense of belonging home safe space willpower strength confidence yeah it's like they're having they're they're drawing up the confidence to um to be themselves again I feel like you guys are matching each other's energy in the sense that you're both going through um like kind of like an awakening like a healing fate like you've gone through the healing you've done the shadow work like both of you guys have been working on healing yourselves and I feel this could be a twin flame connection too because I really feel like you guys almost had to separate for a while like the, he your person had to go learn their own lessons they had to learn things the hard way I know that you wanted to help them out of the darkness. You wanted to help them through their insecurities and their fears and all that trauma. Um, but it's like they wouldn't believe you. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't have believed you. No matter how much you loved them, it's like they kind of needed to find their independence again. They needed to to go through that alone. And I think you had some stuff, some karmic lessons that you also needed to wrap up because this could be a potential life partner. So this, you know, you guys might have just needed to go wrap some things up before you come back together. And I think you're mirroring each other in the sense that, you know, you've both done the healing. You've been supporting each other telepathically, even if you guys haven't been together um, physically recently. I feel like you're both reclaiming your, um, like your inner child, like, you know, your passion, you know, your romantic side, your, um, you know, like innocence, your, uh, free spirit. Like you guys are both reclaiming that side of yourselves so that you can have this kind of love that you've always wanted with each other. Um, it's a really beautiful connection. It's a really, it's a really good reading. So it seems like there's going to be in June, I feel like there's just going to be a lot of uh, hidden truths coming out and communication finally with this person is what the card's saying, saying at least. And remember, this is just energy. So this could always change. This is just, this isn't like set in stone, like, oh, they're definitely going to message you. This is like the energy, like they're thinking about you. They're wanting to message. They are looking at this from a new perspective, but free will ultimately comes into play. So I can't sit here and say a hundred percent of them will message you. You know what I mean? It, 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 varies this is just the energy but they are wanting to I can say that if this is your energy group they are thinking about it some of them might not be able to find you like some of them might want to message but not know um like how to how to get a hold of you some of them might they you know maybe you guys lost contact maybe they lost your number you lost their number um and and not to panic because I feel like if this is destiny it's going to come back around do you know what I mean like it's, it's, you know, but, but if you have, say you have their social media and they don't have yours, then you might want to be the first one to message because they might be looking for you and not have a way to, to, you know, do it. But, you know, full disclaimer, you are responsible for your actions. I am not responsible for anything you do or do not do as a result of these readings. So that's up to you. Only go with it if it feels right for you intuitively. But that is just a message for a few of you is that some of them have already made the decision that they do want to talk to you, but they literally cannot find you. They do not know where you are. <laughs> see what other messages we could get here so for the for you know those of you that are if this is your story it's just kind of confirmation for you because I feel like some of you still have feelings for this person and you feel like they rejected you and they are oblivious to how you feel <laughs> or vice versa you know, this could be you, you could be oblivious to how they feel like they might be trying to shoot their shot. And you're thinking, Oh, yeah, I bet they're flirty with everybody. 
Like your your someone's trust issues and someone's insecurities got in the way of this. But I feel like for the majority of you, you've been away from this person for a while. So you've had time to each go do your shadow work and come back together. And, and someone's seeing this from a different perspective. So it's just kind of conf confirmation here for someone like they weren't cocky. They weren't full of themselves. They really are just awkward. <laughs> Stagnation, complacency. Pride and stubbornness. New perspective. Yeah, they were kind of keeping themselves stagnant by being prideful, being stubborn, like not. It's like, look at these two people. Like, they want to talk. It's like, um, God, it's, it's just, it's this energy where it's like they, they want to communicate, but they're literally not seeing each other. Like someone's got their eyes closed, but they have this new perspective came in for this person. Listening, understanding, new perspective. So someone's finally getting it, I think. Someone's finally noticing what this connection is. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. And I want to say too, because I mentioned that I was looking for my soulmate in Washington and I keep channeling that he's an earth sign. I think he's a Taurus, but I don't know for sure. Um, for those of you that watched my video a few weeks ago, you know, you know what's up. But, um, and I think he's in Washington. Fuck if I know at this point. But I, I, he's in this energy group. I don't know if he watches. I think he watches my channel. I don't know for sure. But I know that he's in this energy group with you guys, even if he's not watching the, ch the channel. So I just wanted to say, um, and again, I don't know for sure if he's a Taurus. I just, I think he might be because I think he, I get earth sign energy from him. But anyway, I wanted to say just, you know, channeling, just bringing my own story into this just for a minute, just to kind of, because um, some of you can probably relate to this. So for some of you, you are about to meet your life partner. Now, this could be someone new or this could be the the person I channeled originally, like that shy kind of secret admirer type. And, and you thought they were conceited or they thought you were conceited. Like there was miscommunication. But in the last reading I did, I got not all that glimmers is gold. Don't be too hasty accepting a sudden upcoming love offer. So I want to say that like, because with my situation, I literally do not know who my person is. I have just been channeling them for a year, picking up on their energy. Um, I get like a sense of his personality type. I, you know, might dream about him or have certain details come in about him, but I've literally not met him. I, I don't even know his name. Um, and, you know, I've been kind of getting a warning that like if I meet someone else to make sure I don't think that it's my true love that I've been channeling, I have to be kind of careful. And um, same for him where I'm like, I'm trying to make sure he knows it's not like if it's not me, you know what I mean? Since we haven't met each other, it's kind of difficult because we have to like be able to recognize each other when we find each other and all that. And and so I think some of you are actually going through something similar because I got I, I don't know, I'm just I because I, I noticed the last reading I did that there might be like a sudden upcoming love offer. And I almost feel like you're in a similar situation where you can maybe not to the extent that I've, you know, been going through this where I've actually been channeling him for like, you know, over a year, but like you might be um, maybe like the past month, for example, just feeling like you're going to meet your soulmate or your twin flame. Um, and it's just kind of saying like, don't project, don't cause that, you know, that's just, you know, since, since my person is in this energy group, I believe it's, um, you know, he's in there with you guys. So it's like, it's kind of a warning for you guys as well. Like maybe if the, even if the scenario is slightly different, um, it's like, don't project out of loneliness. You know what I mean? Like if you're feeling like you're going to meet your true love, like this year or, you know, within the next month, don't go back to a toxic ex thinking, oh, I bet it's them. Or don't like just see someone you think is cute at the grocery store and be like, oh, maybe it's them. Maybe it's them. You know what I mean? Like don't project, just let this happen naturally. Let this flow naturally because you don't want to end up um giving all that energy to the wrong person and getting let down you want to be sure that this is the person that you've been telepathically connecting with for those of you that are also in this energy with me um I hope that makes sense so it's just kind of like 
Because because you're sending you and your soulmate. Because like okay, like for me, it's like I know I feel like he's aware of me. I feel like we telepathically communicate. I don't know how aware of me he is, but I feel like he's somewhat aware at least. And when you have that kind of connection, like that's a strong connection to be able to telepathically communicate with someone and like literally not even know their name or what they look like. That's that's a very deep soulmate connection, at least. So if you guys are in that similar energy where you're picking up on someone you haven't met, it's like, um, you know, just be be mindful, be mind, be, um, cause it's like, it's almost like you're sending like a signal out to the universe. It's like a, it's just a very powerful love. And sometimes people that are just seeking love will like, it, it's almost like a God, how do I explain that? I'm sorry. I know I'm getting jumbled. Um, it's almost like a light that you just, it's like this bright, bright light that just comes out of you and comes out of them. And it's like people that are jealous, insecure, people that are desperate for love will see that and will try to come in and be like, oh, it's me. I'm your soulmate. And you have to be cautious and you have to be like, no, you're not. You have to, I mean, you have to know, you, you know what I mean? Like you have to be developing your intuition right now so that you can recognize this person and you don't just let someone who's lonely and desperate for a relationship, just come in and pretend like it's them. You know what I mean? Like you need to use your intuition so you can actually connect with this person's energy on a, on a deeper level. I hope that makes sense. I'll explain if anyone, if I did not explain that, well, just comment below and I'll try to explain it to you better, but I know it's frustrating. I'm in the, I'm in that boat with you guys. Um, And I'm in California too. I don't even know if my person's in Washington anymore. It's it's hard when it's like a telepathic connection like that. It's it's difficult. But like I said, sorry. A lot of you guys are feeling that energy. You're feeling like you are about to meet your person and you are correct. It's just a word of, you know, just caution. Like, because when you manifest love like that, you can have toxic exes coming back out of nowhere. You can have um, you know, new people coming in, all this, all this coming in, rushing in at once. And you have to sort through it. You can't just take the first offer out of loneliness is basically just what I'm trying to say here. I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing and then I overthink and end up deleting everything that I wrote. So yeah, someone really is thinking about messaging you here. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. See, that's like, that's like what I have with my person. Cause I'm like, I've never met them. And it's like, we're, you know, like some of you might be in that energy. That's why it's just kind of saying, it's like, Hey, wait for your person. Don't just go with whatever, you know, I feel like you're out of my league. You're too good for me. I feel nervous and shy around you. Yeah. That's how they felt before. And now they're finally looking at it with a new perspective and they're like, Oh damn, like this person actually did like me. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. So someone really is missing this connection. They're really wanting a do-over here. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. At this time, it's best for, to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. I don't feel like they took you for granted, but I feel like the message here is like, some of them, the ball is in their court. Not all of them, but some of them. You know who this is. If that's you, that's a message for one person, I think. I want to take things slow and get to know you better. Yeah, I really feel like you took, like, if they were trying to take things slow before, I feel like you misunderstood them. Um, so don't, if they're taking things, as long as they're moving, you know what I mean? Like, they should be taking you on dates and communicating with you. Yeah, definitely. But, like, if they're not saying I love you in the first month, it's like, don't panic. You know what I mean? It's like that's they, – they might just take longer than you take, you know? I often think about the last night we saw each other. I've grown up. I'm ready for commitment. I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out that softer side of me. You know, they, they were trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation and drained and distracted. And it damaged them. And they're, they, they're still learning how to open their heart again. Yeah, I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. I feel like they are, though, but they're... Yeah, I lied to myself and try to convince myself it was best for us to go our separate ways. I'm afraid... I feel like there's more than one person coming through here, to be honest. I feel like there's an ex and a new person coming in with, with this um, deck right here. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. Yeah, I feel like they, they had to work through their fear on their own. It's almost like... 
like you wanted to support them and it's like they weren't getting it they were too insecure but it's like this period of absence has made them kind of like they've been forced to work through this alone and now they're like they're coming to this conclusion on their own like you couldn't do it for them they had to do it on their own and now they're like oh wait i do want to fix this i just don't know where to start I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I'm aware that you are my soulmate or my twin flame. You are the one. You're my best friend or you're going to be best friends. You're going to have that kind of connection. I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. There's no one like you. I realize now I'm not going to be able to find a love like ours with someone else. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. I regret what I said to you. I feel two people. Okay, screw off, X. Like, I don't know whose X this is, but <laughs> X's are irritating. Yeah, someone lied to you and they're afraid you're moving on, but you are moving on. Like... Sorry, there's two people that were coming through. That gets kind of irritating sometimes. You might have an ex you need to cut and clear. If you've been thinking about cutting and clearing someone, it's time to do that. Because <laughs> they're trying to come through your reading here. And there's like, it's like two people fighting for you almost. This could, And this could just be for like a few of you. I don't know if that's for all of you. But but yeah, that came through. <laughs> Look at that. End of a pattern or cycle. I didn't even mean to pick that up. Um, anyway, if you guys want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But yeah, you can just copy and paste it. Um, any donations are appreciated. And thank you guys for watching.